All right, as you saw, we got those cleaned up nicely on the mill. Um, chamfer the edges on the sander over there. You can see that we need that to go in there, you know, because we're going to weld that. And it just wants to start. We uh, put a little chamfer there and uh, chamfer the edges, but it's, it's just a little bit oversized. Um, I've got a one inch end mill here. And I think this guy, yeah, see, it just barely wants to go in there. A little bit uh, tight, but I think once we get that spinning, it'll, it'll clean that up just enough for that to slide in. So let's see what we can do here. Um, got some Starrett um, vintage V-blocks uh, made for positioning round parts that I bought off eBay for a good price. And uh, I've used them before. They, they work well to square everything else up. You get it square to the bottom and then let, you know, drive that in there with the, with the jaws of the vise. It should bring all of it up into, into square. Okay, so that's starting in there. So let's see what we can do. It's a little bit of run out in the spindle and that, that may have some run out too, um, which is good because we need it to, yeah. See that's cutting just a little bit out of there. see that but it just did a little cleanup in there so all right see that's going in there now a little bit tight but I think we can uh, work it in there we may have to drive it in with a press or just knock it in with a hammer but uh, this thing won't reach all the way through so I'll have to do half of it uh, then flip it over and do the other half so we'll get the rest of those done and uh, come back and show you as we make progress Hey, what's up out there everybody? It's Gary and welcome back to Metalwork Monday. This is episode number five. And um, you're probably asking, what the heck are you building? Well, uh, I have a need for a, a, a tubing bender um, that can bend flat stock up to six inches wide. And looked at the commercially available ones and uh, really couldn't find anything I liked. The closest thing I found was the uh, Swag Off-Road unit. And uh, we'll switch over and take a look at that now. But that sucker's like, 
you know, with the dies and everything is, you know, seven, 800 bucks. It's a really nice unit. Um, but, uh, anyway, it, it doesn't accommodate what I need. So I did some research online and I found, uh, this unit and we'll switch over and take a look at it. Um, you know, as you can see, it's a, you know, kind of a cool looking design there and, um, found a couple of pictures and a little bit of, you know, text about it, but no, um, no detailed plans or anything. So I'm just taking some guesses here at the materials used and the dimensions and all that. And I think I'm getting pretty close to it. So as you saw, uh, what we did so far is we took some uh, DOM tubing and uh, some just, you know, round bar stock and uh, chucked those up in the, um, uh, in the spindle of the mill and uh, just did a little polishing on them to clean up the mill scale and whatnot. And then uh, had to clean up the ID of this guy uh, so that that would fit and still had to do, it's still a little bit of a press fit uh, in there. And just TIG welded those up on the end. So, uh, kind of what we're going for here is, uh, and has a really nice fit um, in these uh, pillow block bearings here. So, uh, anyway, so that's kind of where we are. We got all of our materials cut out and and ready to get the rest of it uh, drilled, tapped, machine cut, whatever whatever else uh, welded. Um, so. Um, so we got it all, all, everything cut out and prepped and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, finished with the rest of it.
All right, well, we got it all finished up here. Um, we did go ahead and drill and tap all of the hole locations so that uh, we wouldn't be, um, you know, using the nuts on the back of anything so we could quickly, you know, uh, move the settings around just with an impact. And uh, so I'm going to do a little test here, see how it works. Um, we've got the rollers set in as far as they'll go um, <clears throat> inbound. And this is just a piece of uh, eighth inch flat stock we have in here. And uh, so we're going to tighten these down on it. Okay, we get to the other side. All right, I did this off camera, but I machined out a, a nut, uh, just drilled out the center of it to to fit over the one inch shaft and then um, you know we took this uh, socket here and TIG welded it to uh, to this just to uh, create a, uh, a little tool to use to roll with so one of the one of the bad things about this design is um, is that you're um, you're always going to end up wasting some of the um, some of the materials just because you know you can't uh, roll you can't get the bend to go to the very end so um, let's see what we can do here you're about getting this thing to Well, uh, the flat stock, you know, um, pretty decent radius there on it. I, th I think it would, if this was thicker material, it would, you know, uh, be a little more smooth. Um, and then also just, uh, you know, in how you're using it, you can't really jack it down too much. I was kind of getting in a hurry for the camera there, and I think I jacked it a little more in, you know, a couple of places that caused it to get a kink in it. Um, I put a piece of uh, square stock in there and just ran it back and forth a couple of times. You know, it's obviously short, so you can't really get much of a radius on it. But it, it started to get a, a radius there and, and uh, you know, work its way out. So I think, uh, I think that'll be it. We got our finished up. I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.